Welcome to the end of 2019. I'd like to give you a little quick update of where we are. I haven't given a video for a while. Um, one of the areas I'd like to talk about, are, it, it, it's a possibility that there is an infection causing some of the problems. So certainly a number of patients believe that's the case. Uh, we've continued to work on this problem. Uh, in the past, we have developed technology to do a single tube, what's called multiplex assay, that assays multiple things simultaneously. Uh, we included uh, all of the DNA viruses and many of the parasites. Uh, we have since developed the methodology, I think, to include the RNA viruses, which is much more difficult. Uh, we've also will include uh, more parasites sequences, and we've developed a, a way to do this also with uh, most of the bacteria. Um, we will do a, a nematode that was suggested by one of the patients. That will take us a while to put that together because there's no information on this particular nematode. What's also of, uh, of interest is that we think that we can do all of this in a single tube assay uh, for uh, $10 or less. Uh, so it may be a very useful tool uh, for many of the uh, researchers looking at patients. We've also um, updated our uh, nanoneedle assay. We are trying to make it into a high throughput device that will be very useful for lots of different experiments, uh, trying to identify what's in the plasma, uh, as well as uh, screening various drugs. Also, uh, in our efforts to look at the metabolomics of, of patients, uh, we have worked on this for quite some time. We have identified a number of metabolites uh, that have previously not been analyzed, and they may be of quite significant. So uh, we will now explore these new metabolites to see how significant they are. Uh, this is the work that will be done uh, by Chris Armstrong uh, and uh, Laurel Crosby, and I think with some assistance from Robert Fair. This could uh, lead to uh, new information about the patients that may be quite significant. So we are working very hard. Um, we continue to be limited by the amount of funds that are available, and I know that that's extremely difficult. We continue to write grants. We will, in fact, write more grants for the March deadline. Uh, it's very difficult to get NIH support largely because uh, anything that we work on, uh, we're not necessarily an expert on. And so it's very difficult to get the to generate the credibility that we actually can do the work. But we will continue to strive to do this. So I hope you have a good as possible holiday. Uh, I will probably be work spending most of my time working. Um, but it's been nice to chat with you. Thank you very much.